Um, what am I doing now? Investigate. John Nelligan seems not to be a usual thief. What is his role in all that? Ship's log for the year 1883 might put some light in the connection between Peter Carey and Nelligan's father. Okay. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Yes, you have. You broke into someone's shack and tried to tamper with evidence. Mr. Holmes? Uh, so now we're going back. Oh, this is the wrong door. Now we're going back to check the ship's logs, right? Do I talk to the inspector first? Wait a minute. The inspector. Locked. Locked. Alright, let's get out of here. This game's pretty good. I'm, 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 uh, I like it so far. Like it's it's kind of slow, slow and thoughtful. Nothing crazy or dramatic was really happening. I like, not, not much action, but uh, a lot to think about, right? Because you're you're looking at the evidence and you're trying to construct or reconstruct what happened. Although the game does, you know, the game gives you a lot of hand-holding and it tells you what's going on. All right. 1883. That's the one I need. All right, let's this read this. is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. Peter Carey, Master, Charles Ellison, First Mate, Henry Joy, Second Mate, James Lancaster, Helmsman, Patrick Cairns, Harpuna, Pablo Coventral, Harpuna? Ned Land, Tapuna, Joseph Walker, Steward, John York Cook, Richard Lang, Sailor, Simon Weeks, Sailor, Isaac Page, Sailor, Will Wright, Sailor, Ha! <laughs> Will Wright, Benjamin Tinsley, Sailor, Matthew Granger, Sailor, Rolf Talbot, Sailor, Seth Fowler, Sailor, Roger Fowler, Sailor, Thomas Lawrence, Sailor, Hugh Patton, Sailor, Henry Shepard, Sailor, This is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. Log notes for June. Nothing unusual. Thursday, June 8th. Light breeze through the day. Saw whale tail alongside at southeast. Just at night, two more ships in sight. Wednesday, June 14th. Moderate wind from the east. Saw no whales today. Monday, June 19th, light and variable wind through the day, saw other whaling ship far away to the north. Saturday, June, strong wind from south will go to the north. One year ago, there were a lot of whales. <laughs> Not anymore, apparently. Log notes for July. Nothing special. Friday, July 1st, light wind from the north to north-northeast, saw two whales at northeast. Wednesday, July 6th, strong winds from the north all day, squally wind from northeast at night. Monday, July 18th, strong breeze from southeast, York got sick, saw whale tail at east in company with Ellison and Joy. Sunday, July 24th, moderate wind from the east, saw no whales today, so they're not doing anything, just looking at whales and other ships. Log notes for August. These pages have been torn away. Oh, that's suspicious. Uh... Tuesday's August the 2nd, rather squally wind through the day and night. Saturday, August 6th, squally wind from northeast. Helmsman suspects incoming storm. Log notes for August. These pages have been torn away. Canadian Pacific Railway, CPR. A torn piece from a bond certificate. I have seen this abbreviation somewhere very recently. There are three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883 aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require speaking with a dead man. The last would be to locate vital witnesses, the sailors involved in this whale hunt campaign. Okay. Well, let's speak to a dead... Oh, the dead man's gone. I was going to speak to the dead man. <laughs> I mean, it seems like the easier thing to do, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe I'm a bad detective. Alright, CPR... 
Uh, where's the stupid notebook? Can I just... Ships log. Bond certificate. We need to... JHN... CPR. CPR, but I have to actually go back to the police station to... Access the... the logbook. Alright, stop getting stuck. I'm running around, walking back and forth. Actually, is the woman here? Is the woman... Let me talk to the woman again. Maybe the woman will know how to contact the other sailors. Maybe. Oh, hi again, it's me. Who could do such a thing? Alright, she's still... My poor husband. She's... A day has passed and she's still sitting there. Still doing the same thing. What about this? Like, why, why is this thing in the dirt like that? That seems weird. Alright, back to Scotland Yard. A bond certificate. I can deduct. Um, missing tin box, breaking attempts, Nilligan's notebook, Peter Carey a non-smoker. Alright, well. Swift actions? Pin to the wall, no gardener, breaking attempts. Nelligan's notebook. Breaking attempt. Retrieving the notebook. The breaking attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in the pool of the victim's blood. This proves the guilt of the person who made these attempts. Yes. Yes, it does. Uh. There's a whole bunch of other stuff apparently. Clues. Apparently we can just do that. Okay, swift actions. Task experiment required. We need to find out whether an unskilled and untrained man could use a harpoon well enough to kill by fully piercing a body. Okay. I need to stay during reconstruction. I'm sure that Watson would be happy to oblige. Right. There's a whole bunch of stuff that we can do. Where's my board again? Is it B? Okay, B for board. Task. Alright, let me go back to this. No gardener, missing tin box. That's not it. No gardener. So this you just kind of, you just try them until something works. And apparently there's no penalty to failing. Alright, let's exit that. Alright, let's go back to the notebook. And... These are the suspect's belongings. I wonder if these are connected. CPR. Now we have the proof that Nelligan's papers were indeed here. It seems that they have vanished, however. Uh, sure. <sighs> Missing papers. Missing tin box. Stolen valuable papers. Valuable bond certificates were kept inside the stolen tin box. Nelligan's motive. John Nelligan could have been caught stealing the bond certificates. This might have been a motive for him to murder Peter Carey. Okay, but how is that... How does that help us? Some of the facts may be interpreted differently. You can always change the picture of a crime by choosing between them. Retrieving the notebook, looking for papers. The breaking attempts were made in order to recover the notebook line of looking for his father's papers inside Black Peter's cabin to make his present of the murder the scene of the murder. Uh how would you know? May be interpreted differently? Wait a minute. Can I just pick one? 
looking for papers. John Nelligan could have been caught stealing the bond certificate. This might have been a motive from the murder of Peter Carey. John Nelligan is a victim of circumstance. He does not fit the portrait of a murderer either by physical or psychological description. Okay, we need to figure out how strong a person has to be to to stab someone with a harpoon. Can we talk to him again? Or are we done with him? Hi. We can't talk to him again. Break in. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, what exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter Carey's cabin? I... I, I was trying to find some information about my father. Q. Bond certificate, rings engraving, sharp knife, bond certificates. I assume you had another purpose, to retrieve the bond certificates. Am I correct? Yes. I discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. Huh. You can imagine my amazement. I spent months trying to find them, and at last I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. These papers, they belong to my family. But I could not find them there. You... Well, couldn't... I will see you soon, young man. Please, let me go! I am innocent! You couldn't find them there? Wiggins might help to find the crew of the Sea Unicorn, and then Watson, alright. He, but he couldn't find the bond certificates, apparently. Wait. Hmm. Alright, let's do the other stuff. We are missing things. Uh, no, get out of that one. Alright, back to Baker Street. Man, I thought I thought we were just gonna get a tutorial mission, but we just got get dumped straight into an, an actual investigation. If this is like the tutorial, then this game might be enormous, cause this is like a huge, it's a huge thing already. If it's not a tutorial, then we essentially got thrown into the game with no tutorial. Although, I mean, it's not that complicated, the game. But the mechanics of it is not that complicated. The The actual case is is complicated, but the, uh, the gameplay and the mechanics are fairly self-explanatory, I think. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbour. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Basically, using child labor. Uh, oh hey, the dog. Hi, dog. Toby. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. If you say so. I have only to call them Corrigans. Child labor. Hey, that's appropriate. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins. I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. 
fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. He can't even read. Why don't you pay for him to Sorry go to the trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. Um. Wait, completed already? Uh, what's in? Can we stab someone? A spot of whaling, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No, but we do need to clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible, but if that is the case, then it alters many things. I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man, morphologically, I mean? Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before, on the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throats? No. Thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. Wonderful. Watson, let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. Isn't that evidence? Alright, we're gonna throw some harpoons. Do I need the harpoon or do I just go there? Do I need to pick up the harpoon as well? If there's one thing that I'm gonna count as a negative in this game is the loading. Cause you, you jump back and forth a lot. And so there's a lot of loading screens. I don't know if I'm happy about that. 